Um, yeah. Um, you know, I agree with that, Phoenix. You know, it's funny, like, I'm not afraid on my channel to discuss religion and whatever. I've given my views publicly. Um, I'm open to being wrong, but I mean, I'm, I'm religious and part of it is because I, this sounds very cowardly or m maybe, or maybe wishy-washy and I've been having to fight this, uh, a lot, especially lately when I have nightmares and, and such, like this is what I think about. Um, the idea that there is nothing after life is so frightening and so, uh, final to me and so depressing to me that if that was true, if all of this is for nothing and if we're just gone, if it's just nothingness, I would probably be more suicidal than I am. Um, I'd often thought that part of the reason I haven't committed suicide yet, especially when I was a teenager going through some serious depression, the reason I never committed suicide uh, was partly probably about 70% just fear of the act, like the fear of the act of, you know, going through the motion of either using a firearm or hanging myself or whatever. Um, the fear of that uh, is stop me. But the other fear is what if Christianity or Islam or Judaism is right? Because in all religions, pretty much, probably not even just the big three, but in all religions, like, suicide is is the ultimate no-no because you can't come back from it. Um, the idea is that anything you do, any bad thing you do, in life, you still have a life to try to fix somehow or atone. Whereas if you kill yourself, then that is your final sinful act and there is no possible way to reverse it because you don't exist anymore. Um... So that's probably the rest of the 30% of fear of why I never went through with it. Um, and that's still true. Like, it's it's still it, up to Walmart, guys. Like, I didn't talk about it very much. But toward the end of my Walmart career, um, I was really uh, fucked up to the point where every day that I came in, and I literally, every day when I went into Walmart, um, I broke down in tears. And there was one time... Um, I don't think I've mentioned this before. And I know there aren't too many people watching this, so unless you clip it, it's going to be a secret. But uh, there was one time in Walmart where I actually practiced hanging myself. Like, I I didn't go through with it, but I, I hung myself, but basically did it safely so I would feel what it was like without risking actual death. Um, but I practiced hanging myself. And I told that to the Akamura, and that was when she super freaked out and wanted me out of there more than anything. And I agree. Um, you know, and, like, now that I'm away from the place, now that I don't have any of that shit on my back, uh, you know, Walmart put me in a really bad place. And it's not... I'm not blaming the company, because the company cannot... Like, in my opinion, companies can't be evil. Um, companies... Uh, companies are non-people. They are run by people. They are run by assholes, some of them. And <clears throat> um, people can have evil policies, but a company cannot be evil because a company is not a subjective thing. It's just a legal entity. Um, so I don't blame Walmart. I don't even blame their policies. I blame the way it was run. I blame... Um, my own inability to handle it, my own immaturity, and I'm still immature about that kind of thing. I mean, it, it is what it is. Um, and it, it's also partly the depression or depression-like symptoms I've suffered since I was a kid. I mean, like, always, because I've always been, I've always been suicidal, just not to that level. Um, usually it's a passing thought, but it's a frequent thought. Um, Certainly more frequent than, like, the books say that uh, it uh, qualifies you as high risk. Um, but anyway, uh, but back to religion, like, the reason I don't now is <clears throat> because of the same reasons. Because it's still there. Like, this is why a while ago I mentioned that 
I had always been afraid that if I did get 20 million subs and become the next Markiplier, that it wouldn't be good enough for me. And the last year, being with you guys, doing YouTube full-time, has taught me that it's probably true. I'm probably right in that. That if, if I magically hit 20 million tomorrow, then I'm going to stop saying, oh, why am I not as big as Markiplier? And instead I'll be like, oh, why am I not as big as PewDiePie? And if I magically get 100 million subscribers and I become the most subscribed person on YouTube, um, then it's, why am I not as famous as a, as a professional actor? Why am I not as famous as a professional athlete? And, and, like, and that shit is buried deep in me, part of an inferiority complex that I can't fix. Like, I would need professional help to fix. Um, so I handle it the way I possibly can any way I can, which is not drugs, you know, I, I don't do drugs or anything, but what I do is I try to keep religion in mind because I know it's not the liberal thing to believe anymore, or if it ever was, um, it's not so much the organized part, because I don't, I don't care for organized religion, I think they're all a bunch of snakes, especially like assholes like Creflo Dollar who say, oh, you can get into heaven if you just buy me a fucking F-20 jet with all the trimmings. Just donate all of your money to me and God will be happy with you. Like, that's fucking bullshit. It's all bullshit. Um, that's not what Jesus taught. That's not what any of the religions taught. That's a charlatan who's being an asshole. But I do have faith. Uh, Cam earlier said that difference, I believe, between faith and religion. And um, I have to have faith because if I don't have faith, then I will lose the last vestige of what is holding me to the world. And I don't want that because I've come to realize, I've come to realize that most suicidal people, I would bet most, if not all, suicidal people are not wanting to die they want their lives to be better that's a huge difference and that's how you can help people who are suicidal you have to show them not that they are worth not that they are worth it i don't believe but that they can help themselves become worth it um and you guys have saved me more than more than you realize like knowing that you all would be disappointed and you know, on my worst days, I still think if I offed myself, you guys would just find another YouTube channel and, and it, you would just shrug and move on. But on my better days, like, I know that's not true. I mean, I see the outpouring of support for, uh, for, um, like, Total Biscuit, who lost, his, who unfortunately passed away. And, like, you know, you guys love me just as much as t TB's fans loved him. And, you know, I wouldn't want that to happen to you like I saw I saw how much you guys were caring about me and concerned about me when my grandmother passed away and I just wasn't around for a week and I was perfectly safe I was just gone and didn't have time to talk and you guys were still super concerned and you know it shows me that you know I wish I had Mark's reach and the Game Grumps reach and all that like I wish I could help more people but I have to keep in mind that just because I can't help millions, at least for now, doesn't mean that I can't help some. And there are some Hawks who have had private conversations with me that I've helped through some seriously bad stuff. And then I've also had fans who just generally talk about my videos helping out, not, not necessarily because of what I do or my style or whatever, just having that voice Having someone know that they care, and especially my personal interaction, is enough for them. And that l legit helps me get through some of the harder days. And if I crash and I don't think about it, then the Akamura is there to remind me. Like, she's like, the fans would not just move on. Like, and then she starts naming those of you who are very close, you know, followers. And, and follower is the wrong word for that. Like, very close friends. Like, Ryu, Phoenix, uh, Kalo, um, like, all of you who, who, and that's not to single anyone out and who's hearing this, you know, I'm just saying, um, those of you who I speak to every day, you know, 
So that helps me. That helps keep me my head straight. Um, but I mean, I will say it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough when uh, I was in Walmart, and that's not none of your faults at all. There's nothing I could have asked you guys to do more for me. Like I can't even. I'm not even gonna make a joke about. Oh, you could have subscribed to me more on Patreon. No, that's that's fucking disrespectful. Like. There is nothing you guys could have done for me to pull me out of what Walmart was doing to me. It was Walmart. It was not anything you guys did or did not do. But they were the cause of why I fell so far. But anyway, um, so, but even beyond that, like, coming back to the original topic of religion, like, the reason I am religious now, I don't subscribe to any mainstream religion. I call myself a Christian, even right now. Well, I guess not. I took a shower. Uh, I was wearing a crucifix all day. Um, I don't know if Christianity is the quote-unquote right religion. It feels the most right to me, but I also grew up as a Christian, so that could be just inherent bias. Um, but at the end of the day, like, I need to believe... Because if I don't believe, if I if I start to believe that all of this is for 70 years and then nothing, if I truly believe that, then I know that I will fall into such a deep depression that nothing's going to get me out of it. So I have to have faith that all of this is going to lead me somewhere, even if I'm not... Heaven doesn't have to be this place of nothing but... Uh, virgins who all look like Chrissy Teigen and, you know, orgies out the butt, metaphorically, or, or, you know, personalized heavens or anything like that. Like, it doesn't have to be that. I honestly, I just want to die when I die. I just want to be in a position where I can pet my cat or at least interact with him and talk to the Akamura. That's all I want to do. And if I can be with you guys, that'd be even better. You know, if, 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 you know, my ideal heaven, honestly, my ideal heaven would be earth without the bad shit. Like life is cool. Life is fun. It's just the bad shit is what wears us down. You know, like baseball's cool. Video games are cool. Art is cool. It's the hatred and the isms and the misunderstanding and the deception and the lies. That's the bad part so i wish that i could or you know that that's what i wish heaven was that it's earth without the bad shit um but if it's not then i just hope there's something to make all of the hardship and the bullshit that we have to go through on earth worth it and here's the thing the re part of the reason i don't want kids is because as much as, um, as much as the world, like the world right now, the real world right now is, um, do you like the idea of heaven? I don't know. Um, hold on. I'll answer that in a second. Um, before I lose my train of thought, cause I've almost lost it. Uh, Shit, I lost my train of thought. Hold on, let me try to get it back. Um, uh, we were talking about... Ah, oh, shit, I did lose it. Shit, I'd have to listen back to the stream. <laughs> anyway, um, do I like the idea of heaven? Um, again, it, it sort of depends on what heaven is. Like, if, if by your definition it is zero desires, even that, I think, could be a good thing depending on what you desire if that desire is fulfilled. Like, for example, as I just said, I want to pet my cat and I want to be with the Akamura. That's it. And if that is my my quote-unquote lack of desire, if if the tiger is with me and Rachel, Sean is with me and that's it, I don't fucking need anything else, man. That's all I want. Legit. That's all I need. Um, and... Now, if, if your definition is of no desires is, uh, like, everything is just provided for you, like if you had one of those magic uh, replicators from Star Trek or you were a, uh, you were a, uh, in a holo, 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 what the fuck is it called? Holo room? That's not what it's called. Holodeck. 
and you could just will anything to existence as if you were God. Um, that'd probably be pretty boring. Yeah, I agree. But I would still prefer that over nothingness. I'd prefer boredom over nothingness. Um, funny you say that. There was a there was a really good Twilight Zone episode about that, um, where a guy, a gambler, dies, and he goes to heaven, and he's in this beautiful swanky hotel gorgeous women everywhere who will bang him as much as he wants and he gets infinite money to go gamble and he's like yeah this is great so he goes to gamble and he uh he he gambles and wins and keeps winning and keeps winning and then like you see that like the years pass or the months the weeks the days it do like it doesn't matter that's the point like he's sick of winning and the person in charge, who he thinks is God, is like, you know, well, we can set it up so you lose sometimes, but why isn't this good enough for you? And he's like, no, no, this is wrong. I, I need to lose. That's what gambling is about. And he's like, and so they argue. And finally, the guy, the guy who died is like, man, this is the worst thing. Like, I thought heaven would be better than this. And the guy who's in charge said, what do you mean, like, what makes you think this is heaven? Um, which I spoiled at the beginning by saying, I should have said the guy went to the afterlife. But anyway, uh, so, you know, the, the implication there is that's the devil, he went to hell, and that's what hell is. That you get everything all the time. Um, which is very fascinating. To me, it's, it's an incredible philosophical episode. It's lovely. Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, for me, if, like... I've thought, and this is probably kind of a romantic-ish uh, uh, thought, but if heaven is just us as formless souls just zipping around the uni universe doing whatever we want, even if we have no physical form, just exploring, if it's just me and the Akamura, like, that's fucking fine for me. That is fucking fine. I am totally okay with that. Um, but yes, thank you for helping me out. I don't want kids because... Um, Part of it is selfishness. Like, I don't want to give up the channel and all that. I don't want to give up my money. But the thing is, uh, we are living in the best period of the world that has ever existed. Yes, we have our problems. There are societies and villages and tribes and whatevers that are down. There are dictatorships. There are serious problems across the world. But this is still the best time that the world has ever had. Like, our world is objectively better. People are living longer. In the U.S., there are fewer crimes than there have been. There have been a slight uptick, yes, but, like, violent crime is down. It's way down since the bad parts of the 90s. Um, drug usage is relatively down. Teen sex is down. Teen pregnancy is down. Um, it's, it's one of the best times to be alive, and it still sucks. And I don't want a child who I am supposed to love with all of my heart and soul to go through any of the shit that I went through, period, even in the slightest form. I don't want them to deal with the fear of death and the fear of what's coming after. I don't want them to deal with deceivers and thieves and negative news and naysayers on Twitter and sexism and racism and all of that. I don't want any kids to deal with that so I don't want kids because I want to protect them already I want to pre-protect them from all this bullshit that uh, we are surrounded by so while we're here while you and I and the Akamura are here like we want to do our best we want to do our best and try to live as well as we can but I don't want anyone else to have to deal with this bullshit if they can't help it because being born you had no choice like your parents made that choice and hell in some cases one of your parents didn't have a choice and fuck it like if we all could choose life then f fair enough but we can't like we're just we're just fucking here man we're along for the ride I sound like a hippie but we are so like you know, what you gonna do? <laughs> you need... If we don't have a choice about being born, then... I can make that choice... For my theoretical kid. And not subject them to this world. And that is true, too. I have, uh... 
some genetics problems. I don't have very many, although if depression is genetic, good goddamn do I not want my kid to deal with that. Um, because mine is bad. But, uh, my, my, ge oh, Jesus. Whoa, that was close. Uh, my genetics are pretty strong. Um, and yet, you know, and yet, uh, I just, I don't know, man. So, that's just my opinion, of course, you know, if you want kids or if any of you change your mind. Because, like, that's the other thing. I don't ever want to shut the door on something. I might change my mind in ten years, or maybe I'll want to adopt, or something like that. Like, I don't think it's, I don't... Necess I don't think one size fits all, and I think nobody should hold onto their beliefs so tightly they're not willing to change eventually. Um, I don't think they should change if they don't want. To God damn it! I don't think they should. Sh I don't think anyone should pressure you to change. But if you think you want to change and you want to give it a shot, then fucking more power to you. But not for me. Not for me. So. Anyway, that's 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 pyro philosophy in a very that's not a nutshell, that's a friggin' uh gallon sized container. Um But uh, you know, it's what I believe and it's what drives me, for better or worse. Better or worse. But the nice thing about having <laughs> right the nice thing about having a partner like the Akamura is we've talked about all this stuff. Like, the worst thing you can do is get into bed with someone, metaphorically or literally, who has the opposite idea of you and thinks you can change the other person. Like, I, I've seen marriages personally, or not even marriages, but just people dating that are like, I don't want kids, but she wants kids. I'm sure one of us will change eventually, so let's just get together. No, it's fucking suicide. That's emotional suicide. So... Um, you know, you, you need to find someone, and it doesn't even have to be a romantic relationship, necessarily. But when you find someone who, who has generally the same views as you, but is also open to be flexible enough to change if necessary, like, that's the best thing in the world. That is the best thing in the world. And, you know, it is what it is. So hopefully I didn't bring down too many people with that, and I don't know if I've lost anybody. Uh, like I said, I when I stream on Twitch, I hide how many people are watching intentionally, because if I think I'm losing a thousand people, then all of a sudden I'm going to get scared and not do anything anymore. So, um, but yeah. I mean, things can change. Um, you never know. Hell, maybe if I make it, maybe if I truly make it, then sure um Aaron Ego Raptor from the Game Grumps uh, has talked about he, well he hasn't talked about it his broadcast partner Danny has mentioned um has intimated that at least during private conversations they've talked about uh Aaron wanting to be a father eventually and but he's waiting like he's waiting uh I wish there was 837 people watching if there was, you, the chat would be very quiet, comparatively. <laughs> um, but, uh, like, Aaron, for what, you know, and he hasn't talked about this, and I can only guess, and I'm not going to guess, because fuck it, it's not my business, but, like, he's clearly waiting for something. Whether he's waiting for money or a particular point in his life, whether it's his wife, Susie, who is waiting for some reason, um, you know, they have their own plan. They haven't ruled it out. Apparently they want to be, or at least Aaron wants to be a father, but he's waiting. Good for him. You know, you're, you shouldn't force into it. You should do what you need to do, however long it takes you. So, it is what it is, man. There's multiple ways to, what the fuck? I thought I can't deal with you. Came up here to get away from that war down there, nasty business. Hey, have you guys heard of the Dragon's Jewel? Sold it already. Please bring it to me. I'll give you a good price. You can go fuck yourself. I'm not doing that mission. Um, yeah, man. This, right now, since we all know life is finite, like, even if there's something afterward, the life we're living now is finite. And all we can do is the best we've got. And try to get through it in one piece. And that's why, 
you know, I don't want negativity on my channel anymore. I, I don't like slamming games. I don't like insulting people. I don't want to be a drama queen. Even if it would get me more hits. If someone was like, hey, Pyro, I'll give you 100,000 subscribers permanently if you just go on a daily tirade about how much Markiplier blows dicks. And I'd be like, no, that's fucking stupid. Like, there's, there's no reason to hate. I don't have time to hate. I, I've got too much shit to do. <laughs> And that helps keep me grounded, too, you know? Like, that's why I don't eviscerate games, either. Like, I'm sure even in the worst games, people work very hard on them. Um, but I don't have time. I, like, I don't have time to shit on people. And that even comes down to, like, oh, thanks. I guess I'll take the dragon's jewel that you just gave me for some reason. How much can I sell that for to Toad? Uh, take Toad's third offer for 80000 but you may want to keep it for a revisit. Okay. Thank you, Advice Wiki. I will do that. Um. Yeah, man. I'm just trying to get through life, you know? It's hard enough as it is. Shit sucks. So... You, you try to get through it with people you can trust, and if shit happens, then you just try to make it better, somehow. Which is super easy to say, and very hard to do in practice.